We'll do one nukes top five before it gets too scary. I'll get I'll get the brown pants, and that's it. Watcher. Popular former BuzzFeed Unsolved hosts Shane and Ryan are back with an all new paranormal investigation series called Ghost Files over on their very own YouTube channel, Watcher. Now, for those of you who don't know the series, Shane is a diehard skeptic who does not believe in ghosts at all. But what Ryan, an idiot! On the other hand, does believe in the supernatural and often finds himself scared senseless on these paranormal investigations. Alright, apparently, this is where a recurring ghost is seen. I don't even know what I'm looking at. What is this? Oh my God! What are you? Cut! Hey, man! Calm down! You piece of shit! My mic went out, and then I was looking for you. He's crouching in here like some kind of cave creature. And then I, all I did was I went. That was a good one. I was just oh yeah! So to say hello to you. You're looking for me while grunting like a zombie. Uh, so this time, the two friends set out to investigate the allegedly haunted Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Louisville, Kentucky. The massive hospital was built in 1910 to treat patients suffering from tuberculosis. Jesus Christ. Shockingly, Holy fuck, Bobby. it is estimated that around 63,000 people Holy lost shit. their lives inside the sanatorium walls. Maybe the fat so it's 50 no there, wonder Bobby. that Waverly Hills is said to be one of the most haunted buildings in America. Also, just a little fun fact, we've seen this exact same building in a thousand other videos. So many YouTubers and production crews use the same fucking place. I mean, for good reason, it looks like a Call of Duty 4 map. Like, I get it. But, uh, one thing that I'm certain of is there's no ghosts in there. I've seen it inside and out. Thanks the resub, Ace. And I really appreciate it, Bobby. Thank you. And is a site where many visitors claim to have witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. Ryan and Shane make it to the second floor of the Waverly Hills Sanatorium when they capture something uh, truly bizarre. Now, it's the brown pants. Sounds have more to do with bad dietary choices than the paranormal. This isn't even no scary. Worries, because things are about to get weird. Things are some break In the past, many visitors and, and paranormal investigators have reported hearing creatures to react to the investigators' requests and hums not once. They can't but talk. Twice. Well, why can't it hum? Both Shane and Ron the fact it hums tells me that it's able to make noise. Even, okay, even if you don't want to use words, just, like, hum viciously. <laughs> like, you've been bound or something. He wants his presence to be known. Well, then really commit to it. Then I'll believe you. Why is he so fucking shy? And to this day, they still have no explanation for the creepy sounds. Now, for the final part of their investigation, the guys decide that they will each explore the entire sanatorium one at a time and all alone. When Shane does his walkthrough investigation of the hospital, he just kind of strange also happens. Ben shits himself when again. Shane finally makes his way back to Ryan and the rest of the team. He admits that at some point, he believed he might not have been alone. What does that even mean? You have ghost hunting? It's something we've always wanted to do, but actually doing it is so fucking boring. Unless you set up, like, little scares, it's the, just the lamest content. It's just walking around gross buildings. Which I guess has its own, like, merit of fun. Like, urban exploring. But it's just so fucking boring. I did... This isn't ghost hunting. But since I went to University of Tampa, that plant center, the um, plant hall, is considered one of the most haunted places in America, I think. Or it might be Florida. And we used to go around there late at night listening for things or looking for things, but there's nothing. There never is anything. It's just fucking boring. So you have to like set it up beforehand for it to be fun content or enjoyable. But I love the ideas of the I love the idea of it. Well, it sounded like it's a the person prime walking Doug. around upstairs. But can be seen standing behind Shane in a doorway. Now, Shane doesn't see the apparition, but he does admit hey, that he Christian heard some strange noises at the top. exact same moment. So could this be the spirit of a former patient of Waverly Hills Sanatorium? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky videos of Shane and Ryan exploring haunted places over on the YouTube channel, Watcher.
If you found a great ghost video online or recorded one yourself, please send it my way at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Not clowning around. He has to be self-aware. There's no way he thinks this stuff is real. Are you talking about Nuke? Yeah, yeah, he clearly just does it because it's just fun content for him just to compile some of these YouTube videos into a top five. And I agree, it is fun. I don't think he actually believes it, though. He he also has done, like, the top... Or actually, no, this... Was it Nuke that used to do the top five gnome sightings? <laughs> Shit like that. I think that was Nuke. Like, he just does it because it's fun content, not because he actually believes it. Found. TikTok user Jacob explains in his videos that he's recently inherited his grandmother's house after she passed away. But Jacob says that he Please can't shake the strange feeling that something in the old house just doesn't want him there. He has and a gross ass house. Things just get weirder because Jacob finds a creepy old jester doll that belonged to his grandmother. My grandmother's old house. She left it for me, and when I got here, I saw a bunch of cool stuff. And one of the best things is right behind here. Oh yeah. Yeah, what's up, pussy? Call him Jeffrey. Grandma left him for me, I guess. Real creepy. Kind of cute though. Jacob says that when he was a child, the sight of the doll used to terrify him. I, I can't he imagine says it why. It doesn't really bother him anymore. But then, late one night, Jacob wakes up to hear knocking coming from his bedroom closet. <laughs> I just heard knocking from the closet. Well, we can at least rule out the possibility that it's the Jester doll. He's just hanging out. The jester's gonna reach down and tap him on the shoulder. Jester doll's head has turned. Before, it was facing the bed, but now it is staring right at Jacob as he closes the closet door, almost as if it's keeping an eye on him. Jacob says that he didn't even realize that the doll had moved at the time and only noticed it later when looking back at his footage. Well, then so why did he that look Jacob's at it and grandmother's panic. home is haunted? Could there be an entity attached it's to your the one creepy Sonya? jester? It's your one maniac? I'll leave that to you the to Brendan decide. And the five gifts of Zavante. A haunted hello. Thank you for that. Christine Wright from the Paranormal Investigation Team, CBS Rookie Paranormal, sets out all alone to explore the so-called, quote, Pirate's Graveyard in Portland, England. The scenic cemetery was built you best start in believing in ghost stories. and has gotten its You're odd nickname one. from the many gravestones that feature carvings of skulls and crossbones. Christine finds herself completely alone when suddenly something happens that she still can't explain to this day. Um, completely out of the way, so nobody. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. What? What? Hi, Miss Swan. Come hello? out of the bushes. Hmm. Sure, I saw somebody shouted hello then, or said hello. Christine is all alone when she hears something behind her, and as she turns, she hears a woman nearby clearly say hello. Um, completely out of the way, so is there nobody... Some oh, hello. In oh. hentai? Hello. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, hello. Oh. A bit shocked, she immediately answers back, hello. But there's no one there. In fact, there's not even anyone else in the entire area that she's exploring. So could it be that the pirate's graveyard in Portland, England is haunted by the ghosts of those who are laid to rest there? Probably. Let me know. The devil 
down below. This next creepy video was recorded on an allegedly cursed river in Indonesia. A now, cursed many locals river. claim that a strange creature what lives in fuck? this river and surfaces only after dark to prey on its victims. Wouldn't a cursed river? <laughs> I'm getting deep into the quantum realm of curses, but I feel like a cursed river would be like the absolute worst case scenario for everyone because <laughs> as things like they precipitate then it's going to rain down that curse outside of the river. Because I imagine with the river, the curse is in the water, right? So that's going to just spread everywhere. Like, we're all fucked. It wouldn't be localized to the river anymore. Unless, of course, it's like the, the sediment at the bottom, I guess. And the fish, too. Everything's going to be fucked. So, in the dead of night... Four friends set out to attempt to capture video evidence of this alleged mysterious creature. Thanks, Risa. The guys drift Super along the river fire. in their boat for hours Shiny until the they prime. see something in the water near an abandoned shipwreck. The what Bowen. happens next is downright terrifying. <laughs> oh, oh god damn it. <laughs> What looks like a pale hand with long webbed fingers quickly splashes out of the water and snatches at a plastic bottle floating on the surface. Then it just disappears back into the murky depths from which it came. The four friends believe they might have captured the infamous water creature that is said to live in the river. I think we did. But what do you think this is? Let me know. Behind your back. Connor Lyles from Fresno, California is coming home there's late one evening when he buffalo. suddenly hears something right behind him. His doorbell camera captures something downright chilling. Get inside, quick! A it's the smile man! Figure can be seen walking from left to right behind Connor. Suddenly it appears again, but now a lot closer. Connor hears something behind him and quickly turns around, but sees no one there. When he checks his doorbell security camera, he sees the bizarre dark figure and realizes that perhaps something was following him. Fake as fuck, what yeah. do you think is going on here? Is it real? I think it's real. Just an elaborate hoax. He's a bug sub Sonia. Thank you for that. Make sure to smash that like button and thumbs up, ring the bell, tell your mom I said hi. Yeah, that's about it. See ya.